Hey everyone, this is the episode where I show you how I changed the bearings on these wheels and painted them. Of course, it was my first time doing both these things, so you will see a haphazard process with a bunch of mistakes. So I started off with dismantling the rear wheel, mainly taking off the sprocket and the brake disc to see the condition of the existing bearings. The rubbers are dried up and I will probably get new ones. I cleaned up the rest of the parts first and put them aside for later. This is the edge of the spacer pipe that is what we will use as leverage. Do not hit the rod itself, just push it aside and then place the screwdriver on the inner edge of the bearing on the other side. I didn't have a proper bearing extracting tool, so I tried a couple of ideas but eventually had to resort to the common practice of brute force using a flat screwdriver. Once one of the bearings is out, it's easier to push out the other one. You should definitely match the bearings properly every time. I cleaned it all up and put on some grease so that the bearing can slide in easily. When putting it in, 
we have to make sure to not hit the inner edge of the bearing. Always use something that will cover the outer edge. Hit on the sides alternately so that it slowly reaches its place. Once it reaches the lip where it sits, the sound of hammering will change. Now when I was about to install the second bearing, I realized that the rod was sitting slightly higher than the lip where the bearing is supposed to sit. Not knowing the reason for this, I decided to put it on hold and seek guidance online. Meanwhile, I started on the front wheel, again taking off the brake disc. And repeating the same process, the bearings were quite rusted and stuck in there. So I poured some releasing agent and left it there for a bit and got to changing the bearing on this. The grease cover comes off easily but created a splatter of grease. And the bearing came out very easily. I matched the new one to be sure and greased up the hub for fitting the bearing. Had a wood block of the exact size, that was a lot of help. Once that was done, I reshaped the cover and put it back in place.
After that, I decided to take the wheels to the local tire shop and get the tires off with some help. By that time, I had figured out what the problem was and again asked on forums if I should get the spacer trimmed on a lathe. But eventually someone told me that there is a minor difference by design and that I should not try trimming it. While I waited for the response, I got to the front wheel again which was quite speedy now. Cleaned up, greased and fitted both the bearings with the spacer in between. did the rear wheel as well and got to the process of painting. I scuffed it up first to get a rough surface but then I remembered that I had got paint remover and was really keen on drying it out. And that definitely did wonders. It gave me a really clean surface to work with. So I went out and got myself a basic spray gun. I was told it would be good to use as a beginner and they were right. Put down some newspapers. And made a mount for the rims with a steel rod and some old metal brackets.
taped it all up properly because I did not want any paint getting in the bearings. I got some basic primer for the job, mixed it up and started spraying. I think I gave the rear wheel a thick coat and that was a mistake because it took too long to dry. So I decided to do the front wheel in the meanwhile. That one I just scuffed up and didn't use paint remover. Taped it up and got to spraying primer. And this worked wonderfully, dried up in minutes. So I gave it a couple of hours and got to painting it with a black automotive paint. I got a very nice finish on this. And the mount was holding up quite well. Now the rear rim still had wet spots on the second day. So I took some help from this guy. And then I cleaned up some of the wet spots with spirit and sanded it all down. After that, it was all perfect as long as I stuck to doing light coats.
once that was all done, I decided to clean the old tires and check the condition. The front tire turned out to be in a usable condition but the rear one had a cut right there and wasn't looking good overall. I eventually ordered a new pair but because of the lockdown I haven't received it yet. So we're done. And here's the result. I'll show you guys the completed wheel setup once I've received the new tires. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, do like and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye bye.